NDTV Hindu. diamond jewelry store in the heart of old madras life's not quite as fast paced for prem kumar as the bustling streets of sokapet long hours of work long walks through crowded streets it's tiring and boring if you're lonesome but when there's hot food and good company your evening makes up for it all welcome to feeding frenzy come i'll take you to a nice place where life's going to be really interesting Kumar, the winner of last week's feeding frenzy contest, to his favorite kada in the same area, Soka Pet, where he spent his college days with his friends. Sina Bai Tiffin Center, a 33-year-old kutti kada, specializes in just two items: idli and uthappam. The items may be just two, but Sina Bai's fans are in the hundreds, including Prem Kumar. Now, aren't you curious to know why the place is called Sina Bai? Seventy seven and the two thousand or come one day later. I am not sure. That is after that. Car is there. Two thousand is there. In the morning, I am running at it. Papa, there is Sina Bai. That is Sina Bai. No, no, no. At that, I am getting. No, no. My Sina Anna is good. My Tamil is good. No, that is my. 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 Role in this restaurant, a generous dose of it gives the uthapam the dark gold color and the bright sheen. Chopped onions and coriander are sprinkled on top to give it a pungent flavor. And for the finale, we have the dangerously red pudding. Now, is it going to be hot? Oh, sure it is. Sometimes when you're so hungry, you forget that the food is hot. And ultimately, you burn your fingers, and you can only have it and not eat it immediately. It's too spicy for my taste. But then, once in a while, yeah, it's really fun to have such spicy food in such busy streets of Sao Capel. Thanks to the overdose of ghee, which yeah. I'm actually enjoying, I don't mind the overdose of onions. I'm enjoying it. I have worked in Mumbai for quite some time, and I like North Indian food. And the speciality about this uthapam is it has a blend of both North Indian and South Indian taste. That's why it makes it so special. With every bite, I started to wonder what it was that gave the dishes the North Indian touch. And lo and behold, it's the unique side dish: no sambar and tenga chutney for the uthapam. But mint chili chutney and ginger onion chutney. I wish the ginger onion chutney had tamarind instead of onions. I loved only the mint chutney. In fact, this is the first time I'm spending so much time in Sauka Pet. Now I realize, looking at the whole, experiencing the whole culture, I realize why it's called Chota Mumbai. You no, know, it's so crammed, the busy life over here. It's really nice. Yeah, when I was in Mumbai, also I didn't miss Sauka Pet because. From childhood, I was born and brought up in Sokar Pet, and there are many North Indian friends here. And Mumbai also, the food type is similar to this. But even though I miss South Indian food, but when I come back to Chennai, uh, before tasting my mom's idli, I come here to taste the uthapam. It will be very nice. In fact, talking about idlis, you reminded me. I think we should go have the kodi idli also. Yeah, that also will be nice. Size of the plate and the size of the idlis themselves are quite a contrast. Hmm. Once the idli cooker whistles to say "ready," out pops a set of hot, steaming mini idlis dressed in their famous podi and ghee. To start with, I really love the size of these idlis, mini idlis. And once these little darlings are teamed up with this podi. They can be such a fiery, 
awesome dish. The trademark item which makes this uh, Italy and Uttapam so tasty is that the podi which they use it. But they are not willing to share the recipe how the podi is being made. The secret is being passed on to the generations, to the people here. I think we should just one day barge in and serve their secret recipe and probably give it to our mothers. <laughs> If not the entire recipe, we were content with the sketchy details at least. With such tiny idlis, the whole idli disappears in just one bite. And soon, we stood with empty plates. But wait, it's not the end yet. Since you have made my day, I'll give you a surprise. Those who come to Sagar Pet should not miss this badam milk. Yeah? Let's taste that. Sure, come. Are you done? Yeah. Kishore Chats, a seven-year-old Marwari chat counter, is as colourful as the area around it with bright green and yellow shades. Now I'm really glad that you stay in Sauka Pet so you can introduce me to many more such joints. You should try this badam milk. Baya, do badam milk. It's so rich. It's just so full of nuts. During my college days, often I used to come here and have this badam milk. That's why I've gained so much weight. How mean could you be? Because of that, you're making me also gain all the weight, huh? Now's the time for the feeding frenzy contest. Where did the method of stir-fried originate? A. India B. China or C. Mexico Send in your answers to feedback at ndtv-hindu.com Until next week, keep enjoying the spirit of Christmas. <laughs>